times when, um, well, actually today I was watching Bob Equestria, Firebrand, Josh, Scor Josh Scorcher's uh, review, Second Prances from Season 6, uh, Josh had came to the episode was Twilight's character, and mostly why she was acting out of character. In fact, he and his collaborator in this uh, asked the question of, hit Twilight over the head with the idiot stick because she was acting out of character. Uh, another thing that was pointed out by Josh Firebrand and his collaborator was continuity errors throughout the episode, or at least towards the end of the episode. And the more I thought about it, the, the more I realized that I think when, I, I think when you look at reasoning why certain characters or certain, in, certain characters act the way they do, like out of character, Something, or they basically regress back to previous incarnations. Why sometimes there's a certain, you know, error in continuity? Because it all depends on who the writer is. Sometimes the writer may not have a lot of knowledge prior to that episode. They may may not know about certain continuity uh, establishments or establishments in continuity that need to be followed through. And you know, sometimes they may not understand about character continuity, character development continuity, of how a character is supposed to develop and progress and not regress. And I think that's, honestly, I think that's a big problem when it comes to the series. It's, well, not a big problem, but that's a sort of a mid, kind of in the middle, you know, in between, um, it's kind of a middle of the road problem. The fact that the Depending on who the writers are, that certain characters are going to act out of character, or is going to be certain continuity errors instead of nods. And I think what needs to be done, and hopefully they work on it in this season, but like there have been a few incidents incidents already that uh, that may not be that that may not always be the case, because it looks like there are a few like continuity errors. Uh, I'm characters are um, acting out of character, stuff like that. You know, it may not look like this season, um, you know, has addressed that so far, including, I mean, like the more recent episode, which a lot of people have felt is probably the better episode so far, probably the most favorable. Granny's Gone Wild kind of has a few out of character uh, moments. Rainbow Dash, um, you know, and her wanting to ride this roller coaster, Anthro Pony brought up the question as to why she'd want to do that, since she's one of the fastest, if not the fastest, in Equestria. Yeah, it it all depends on on the who the rider is, and sometimes the rider, if they're new or something, can you know acknowledge you know past continuity odds and can acknowledge you know character growth and. The writer for this recent episode does do that. You know, they do do that with Rainbow Dash. They kind of acknowledge the growth she's going through and continues to go through. But I think what Map, as he calls himself, basically pointed out was, you know, for the, you know, the out of context character, or the out of character context for Rainbow Dash is why does she need, want to write this one? Because Soren said at the beginning in the most out of context way of how exciting it was that you're not truly, you can't truly call yourself a Wonderbolt till you do it. It's like, you know, it's like, where did, where did that come from, kind of deal, and, you know, so, yeah, you know, this season we all have probably those same problems, there's no doubt about it, um, but sometimes, like I said, it all depends on who the writer is, and sometimes whether or not the writer gets enough research or information needed to write the story, write the characters the, the, the way it's supposed to be written, context, and in continuity, making sure the continuity nods or acknowledgements, making sure a character doesn't act out of character, you know, during certain times or throughout the episode. And when they talked about Twilight and Second Prances, that's basically what they pointed out, was she was kind of regressing back to old Twilight, like a Twilight that was never really trustworthy. And it's like, what happened? you know, even when Twilight found out who Starlight's new friend was, and toward the sudden sarcasm or bitterness come towards Trixie, and it's like, She's supposed to be more accepting of it. She's supposed to be like, oh, okay, cool. You know, you know, you know, Twilight being the princess of friendship, she's supposed to be more along the lines of, 
sorry about that, um, but yeah, you know, what they basically pointed out is, you know, Twilight's supposed to be the princess of friendship, so she's supposed to be more accepting of the fact that, hey, you know, my, my student, my pupil, uh, made, made a friend, and it may be, oh, no, hey, it's Trixie, you know, okay, I'm willing to give it a chance, you know, let you do your own thing, and it isn't until the end to where she finally admits, okay, I made a mistake, and I should have took the lesson that Celestia, and I should have took a page from Celestia, and that is, she basically says when she apologizes to Starlight, and I think sort of apologizes to Trixie, basically says, hey, look, when I came here, Celestia gave me room to make friends on my own, didn't push me into making certain friends, and I should have done the same thing for you, and now I'm going to do that. I'm going to let you do what you have to do to make friends, and go from there. So, yeah, it takes her to the end of the episode to realize, okay, if she's going to make friends, let her do it on her own. You know, I may not really agree with certain portion, you know, certain elements of the friends she makes, characteristics of the friends she makes, but hey, it's her decision, and maybe she has a reason. And, um, so, yeah, you know, they, they basically point out that, hey, she's supposed to be the princess of friendship, but yet, she's acting more like Twilight prior to being Princess of Friendship, prior to Alicorn status. And again, it all depends on whether or not the writer gets the information they need, gets the information that they need uh, when they're writing the episode to make sure they have a lot of things staying in context, staying in continuity, like you know, like Fluttershy and the Matacore. Nice thing with the Matacores. Um, and of course, Twilight. It's like, you know, this... This Twilight that we see here is basically Twilight Season 3 or Season 3 or Early Season 4 or something like that. You know, it's not the Twilight that is basically uh, two seasons in now as the Princess of Friendship. Like, you know, what happened? And again, like I said, it just depends on who the writer is and what inf if they get the information they need or do the reason and sometimes a writer, it all depends, because we saw this with Fame and Misfortune, sometimes a writer or writers can be like, hey, you know, I don't really like this character. You know, certain writers may have a disdain to certain characters. Like, I'm pretty sure there's some people on the writing staff back then, and even now, they have a disdain for certain characters, and when they're given certain episodes to write that maybe focus on, certain, on those certain characters, they'll be like, hey, I'm going to write the character like this you know, and go from there, and then just, you know, put in the middle, or put at the end that, you know, they would just, this is all part of a lesson that they got to learn, and if that's the case, then you should have a writer that understands what the character is supposed to be like, and not have a writer that doesn't like the character and wants to write the character the way they want, because they don't like the character, the, the character, period. So, in, in my opinion, when... When I look at the way Twilight was written in Second Prances, the way she was sort of written in Once Upon a Zeppelin, and in some other cases as well, you know, post Alicorn status, post Princess of Friendship Alicorn status, I think again it it comes down to two. Th it comes down to several things. One, it all depends on whether or not the writer assigned to that story is given the right information, information on how the character needs to be presented and what the continuity they need to, how the con and how they need to stick to continuity. Two, the writer, if not the writer, needs to make sure that they got that information and does a little bit more research as well to make sure they get things right. Sometimes the writer can just be somebody that doesn't like the characters, and that's, you know, the writer could be just somebody that doesn't like the characters. You know, it, like I say, it comes down to three things, comes down to several things. One, the writer's got to make, the writer needs to have the information that's needed to keep the character in character and progress that character in character development, as well as make sure continuity is acknowledged and keep things in continuity. Two, make sure that they have enough research and information at the disposal and ask others around them for that information that they need to make sure they write the episode and write the characters the way they're supposed to be, they and the episode's supposed to be written. But the other factor could be, like I said, you know, they probably aren't a fan of certain characters. Because, like I said, you can't tell me that there are writers, story writers at that at DHX and on the series that like certain characters and don't like certain characters. Because there are. 
and if they're assigned to write a certain episode and it features a certain character that they may not be fond of, then they're going to write it, write that character in a way to where the story is going to be that by having them invol involved in the story, it's going to be like a lesson they're going to learn towards the end or in the middle of the story. So, may, you know, so that's basically why, like I said, certain characters like Twilight and you know, Second Francis were, in my opinion, because it all depends on the writer, and whether or not the writer has the information needed, 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 they got, you know, they have the information needed to make sure they do it correctly, they've done the research, or they ask people for um, any info, and maybe it's also maybe because they just don't like certain characters, who knows, but... It's just my opinion, and I'm just going to leave it at that. So let me know what you guys think down below. I know I sound like I repeated myself here, so I do apologize. But let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you all later. Let's take care.